This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Hello everyone, this is Sandra Solomon's Moments. I came from a Palestinian family. My uncle, Sakhir Habash, he is one of the leader of Fatah movement and he lead the second intifada. I was raised in Saudi Arabia, 100% Sharia law constitution. As a Palestinian and Muslim, they teach us since we are young that we have to hate the Jews. Jews, they are our enemies. They occupied our land and we have to wipe them off. We have to get the land back from the occupiers. And we have to beautify the Aqsa Mosque from the filthy Jews. I was taught that Jews, they are infidels, kafirs. And we have to hate them and get rid of them. This coming from the constitutional law book, the Quran. It's the constitutional book for every Muslim on the first of the earth. That's the Sharia law constitutional book. The anti-Semitism is rooted in the Quran and in the teaching of the Hadith that came from the founder of Islam, Muhammad. The problem between Muslims and the Jews, the Palestinians, they try to manipulate the case to bring it as political over the land, but it's actually, it's a lie. The hatred for the Muslim toward the Jewish people, it's rooted from the Quran and the Hadith started not at the 1948, started 1400 years ago from the birth of Islam. When Muhammad tried at the Medina, which is, was in the Arabic Peninsula at that time, and still the same name for the same city in Saudi Arabia, it has the big community of the Jewish people at that time. They had four t- tribes, Banu Quraida, Banu Al-Nadir, Banu Qaynuqa, and the Jewish of Khaybar. When Muhammad failed, to convince the Jews that he is a prophet and by the help of the gang group, the thugs and the bandits that he got help from them, they called Al Sa'alik after he failed in Mecca for almost 13 years. He got connected with a group called Al Sa'alik. These people are bandits and thugs. All what they do is attacking caravans, killing men, taking women sick slave and taking the spoils. And that's what helped Muhammad, the founder of Islam, to succeed after he built his first army in the Medina, when he got connected to this group and he promised them more land and more spoils and more women. So there he started going or calling for something called Jihad. And he labeled H and everyone who do not believe in him are infidel, kafir. Since then, he started to genocide and attack the Jewish of the city, the Medina. And actually, in a one day, he genocide between 700 to 900 men and took women, sex slave, and took the kids as well. One of his sex slave, or supposedly, as Muslim, they say his wife, her name is Safiya. He killed her father and her husband and her brother. The same night, Muhammad, the founder of Islam, he raped her. So the story is starting from there. When Muhammad, the founder of Islam, ordered the Muslims to kill the Jews. Until today, the Muslim chanting, Khaybar, Khaybar, Ya Yahud, Jaysh Muhammad, Sawfa Ya'ud. O Khaybar, O Khaybar, the Jews of Khaybar, the army of Muhammad, it will come back. Because all Muslims believe that the judgment of day will never come until the Muslim 
kill the Jews until the rock will cry out, come, O Muslim, there is a Jewish behind me, come kill him. So what Hamas are doing now in Gaza or the Palestinian going for Intifada and now they have the knife Intifada getting the kids outside, carrying the knife, trying to kill the Jewish army or the Jewish civilians. The hatred, it's rooted in Islam and it will never stop. As long as Islam existed, the ideology of hate, the ideology of uh, killing, the ideology of rape, it will never stop. The Muslims need to free their hearts from the hatred. It's not the land that needs to be freed. It's the heart. I'm free from hatred. I don't hate Jews anymore. I don't curse them anymore. I don't wish for Israel to be wiped off from the map. When I discover the truth, when I study the history, the true history, not the Islamic fake history that they did the conquest and occupied massive lands and kill the Jews and the Christians. So that we need to know that this is belong to the Jewish land, belong to the Jewish people, thousands, thousands and thousands of years before Muhammad, before Islam. And I'm not going to wipe thousands of years of evidence and legit history and also when I study the Roman history and find out that actually the word Palestine, Palestine, it's actually a Latin word for Palestine. When the Emperor Hadrian tried to disconnect, to humiliate the Jews and get them out of their land, it used to be called Judea. So therefore, the Jews being exiled from the land. So after that, the conquest, the Islamic conquest came. came and war after war until they control and fully control and after that claiming that Muhammad he fly on a donkey that's why they claim the Aqsa mosque for Muslims I'm not gonna leave all the evidence of the history to go after fairy tale story of a psycho flying on a donkey claiming the land to themselves and Finally, Muslims, they believe and they, what they teach me since I was young. Islam, it's our religion. Quran, it's our constitution. Jihad, it's our way. Muhammad, it's our prophet. Jihad, it's our way. Dying for Allah, it's our ultimate dream. So at the end of the day, Muslims, they believe that they want to die for Allah. They want to go for jihad and die for Allah by killing the infidels, the Jews, the Christian anyone who doesn't want to submit to Sharia law. Therefore, this is a warning for everyone to stand up for the truth, stand up for Israel, stand up to protect the Jewish people from the rising of the anti-Semitism because of Islam and the war between Palestinians and the Israelis, it will never finish. The time until the time we declared that the Quran it's a hate literature and Islam it's a political ideology it's not religion then we can talk about peace thank you so much for watching I encourage everyone to support glass of gang by going to jimmyglossof.com and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel